Hi guys, as part of today's lecture, I will discuss the basics of the PWM out function on the embed platform and we will use this PWM out function to control the intensity of a LED on the freedom board that we have with us. In the previous lecture, you must have looked at the basics of PWM and what we meant by duty cycle and time period. Now I will discuss few of these functions and how we will use them. The format is fairly straightforward. PWM out is the name of the function. Then we have the name and the pin number. So let us take the example and understand it. So if I want to use the PWM function then I will use PWM out. Let's use the nickname John for now and the pin number let's say if I'm using the blue LED so this would be LED 3. So now the variable John will carry all the functions that we will use here for the PWM out. For example if I would like to specify the time period of my PWM which is in seconds then I would say John dot period in bracket if I say 1 then I am setting my time period of my PWM this time period will be 1 second Another example, let's say if, that if my variable is now named as ABC and I would like to use this function, then I would say ABC dot period underscore microsecond and if I use let's say the number 20 then now my period is 20 microseconds. Now similarly if I would like to use the function pulse width to set the pulse width which is this then I would use abc dot pulse width 1.3 then this would be 1.3 seconds but remember that pulse width is always always less than period so you cannot have this pulse width greater than your time period please make sure of this this is a very common mistake and for example if once you set the period as abc dot period underscore milliseconds to be let's say a hundred so now your time period is a hundred milliseconds then if I say ABC is equal to one point I'm sorry you cannot say one if I say ABC is equal to 0 0.5 that is this function if I directly write the value then this would be 50% of time period which is 50% duty cycle. Suppose if I say ABC is equal to 0 0.6 this would be 60% duty cycle so 60% of 100 which was my period this would be 60 milliseconds so my pulse width would now be 
60 milliseconds, which is 60%. So I hope it's clear on how to use these functions. Now, let us take this understanding and apply it on a lab where we will control the intensity of the LED on our board using the PWM function. So before we move on to the lab, let me point out that the default period for your PWM out function is 20 milliseconds and the default pulse width is zero. So in case if you do not set the period using these functions, the default period is 20 milliseconds and the default pulse width is zero. So let's go ahead and look at the program for the PWM. Now I'm sure you know how to start a program and compile it. So we'll directly jump to the program. The hash include embed.h. Now the function is PWM out. The variable name is my out and we are using LED3, which is the blue LED. I declare a float function, which is i, the variable, is equal to zero. And then in my infinite loop, I increase i from zero to one in steps of point 0.1. So i is first zero, then point 0.1, then point 0.2, then point 0.3 and then I'm using my out equal to I which is as good as using the right function here as I said that when you use the right function which is here if I say my out equal to 0.3 it is as good as saying that my duty cycle is 30%. So what I'm doing in my program is that my out starts at 0, then goes 0 0.1, 0 0.2, up to 1. So my duty cycle starts at 10% first 0%, then 10%, then 20%, and then goes up to 1, which is 100%. Now, we have done less than 1, so it won't reach 100%. If we want it to reach 100%, then it must be less than equal to 1. So we can make that change here. So we'll do less than equal to 1. We put a weight of 0.3 seconds which is 300 milliseconds. So effectively we are increasing the duty cycle every 0.3 seconds. So let's go ahead and compile this. Let us save. We'll cut this file and copy it onto the embed board. Now on the board, we press the reset button. Now you see that the intensity of the LED is reducing and it comes up again. So effectively we are trying to control the intensity of the LED. Now you must be wondering that even though my PWM duty cycle, which is my pulse width, is going up, but my intensity of the LED is actually going down, please remember that it is the cathode of your LED which is connected to the chip 
which is producing the PWM and this is connected to VDD. So as my pulse width is increasing 10%, 20%, 50%, the average voltage which is here is also going up. Now as this node goes up the diode is reverse biased and hence the intensity keeps coming down. So here on the board as you see the intensity is going down and once I touches 1 it the for loop executes again hence you keep the process going up and down. So this lab session was basic on how to use the PWM function. What you can try and do is use these different functions here which we have. Let's see if we can do another addition to this lab which is have the LED glow down and then glow up again. So for that we need to add another for loop and we say that for i equal to 1 i greater than equal to 0 i is equal to i minus 0.1 and the same contents. So let's go ahead and compile this and save it. And we paste this here. Let's see the output on the board. As you see, it glows up, then it glows down, then it glows up, then it glows down. So we've controlled the intensity going up and down both ways. Let's see if we can make this process a little faster. So we will reduce the delay to 0.1 milliseconds. I'm sorry, 0.1 seconds. So let's go ahead and compile this. save. We shall cut and we shall paste this here. Let's look at the output on the board. So this is now what we call as a breathing LED. It's breathing down, breathing up, breathing down, breathing up. So we have seen how to use the PWM out function to control the intensity of a LED, what we can use this now is to control the speed of a motor for robotics or the speed of a fan for cooling applications. Now that you know how to use the PWM, try and connect a motor to the output, any of these pins here and control the intensity speed of the motor. I hope this lab session was clear. I shall see you in the next lab session. Thank you.